I get asked about that a lot because people know that I have a bunch of patents. They're all wondering about the patent process and so on. Um, I think I would first of all say be very sure that you, you, that you want it or it is wanted and that if it could be done and was done that there really would be a market that somebody really would pay for it if you, if you need to make it commercial. If it's something just for you, I would advise people to go ahead and do it because half the time it's astonishingly easy if you have any clue how to do it, to have an experiment made that would help you find out if that's true. To have stuff made by people is much easier than people think. I mean, the whole country is full of machine shops and they're, you know, for $30, $50 an hour. They work very fast, very efficiently. You come in there with a sketch, you don't have to be an engineer. They will sit down with you and work out a way to do something. And generally, they're extremely friendly to, you know, non-engineer types that just want something made. Um, there are companies that weld race cars, for example. I made the whole Mobicam at a, at a friend of mine who builds dragsters because they're great at welding aluminum. He's a brilliant welder. And those guys are ad hoc me mechanics too. I mean, they're, you know, they're, they know a lot. Almost anything you need fabricated or done or, you know, you can hire mathematicians, you can hire chemists. Um, the main thing is you have to lie there in the early morning and figure out what might work. And the th I actually had a, a couple of interviews on the web where I lay out seven or eight steps if you want to invent. There's one on MSNBC and there's another, I don't know if the uh, Wharton was, has that list, but you can break it down into a series of things that you have to do and, and you have improved your chances of succeeding a lot. I wish everybody would do it, actually. I, I am a great proponent of more people striving to invent things than, than are presently doing so. People just don't think, that, think of doing it. Or if they do think of doing it, it's about getting rich. Um, there's a TV show that we've just seen about inventing. Uh, and you know, a lot of that show is putting people on display who are you know, kind of foolish in a way and making fun of them, which I'm not crazy about. But America was a great, uh, a great hotbed of invention in its early history. We were known for it. We were innovators. Uh, and it really is one of the best things we can be doing now. It's tough for us to make money manufacturing now. We, you know, our workers are too expensive. Our health care is too expensive. We're not making a great deal of stuff anymore, but we are still innovating. And uh, I think inventing ought to be taught in school. People ought to be taught how to do it and encouraged to do it and not make, you know, made fun of.